Good whatever it is, I'm Antellus, welcome back to Space Engineers. So I might have done a few things off camera. Uh, first of all, I finished that room and it's not really much up. Oh, these controls are different. I'm actually playing on someone else's computer. I'm visiting my parents right now, so this is on their computer. And so a few of the controls are messed up for me. But yeah, I need to put more vents in too. Because every time I open a door, it depressurizes the room or whatever, and that's kind of annoying. But, so I finished this room. Ta-da! It looks really blocky and needs more stuff. It's got a cargo container now, which isn't conveyored up to anywhere. And it has a flight seat so I can, you know, do exciting things like we can sit in the chair. Woo! Exciting. And I can get out of the chair. And I can run through this little tiny cramped hallway into this room right here, which is actually a hangar for my mining drone. And um, yeah, they're currently sharing an oxygen system. I want to conveyor something up eventually so they're not doing that. That's probably going to be a little while, just because it's not super high priority. It's a minor annoyance, and oxygen is free. Like, I don't have to get ice for it. This is depressurize. This is set to pressurize. So it takes the excess air from out here at the if you look over in the uh, the lower right hand corner where it says oxygen low, that means that you can pull oxygen out of the atmosphere. So I'm doing that and it's free. So I don't really care a whole ton about the loss. It's just annoying to have it. Oh look, your jetpack's on. Now your jetpack's off. That That's a little tiring. So yeah, I probably should have waited to build this. I just got a little overexcited for it. I'm gonna keep doing that. But anyways, yeah, so what I think I should do is I think I need like an overall command area because this eventually is going to be a large hangar. And yes, I know the ship still isn't done. I should make it pressurized, I think. That way it has a purpose like that. But I want a command bridge overlooking it. I think a good spot for it actually would be right above my little room thing there. So we're going to do that. It's mine away on this rock. And it doesn't have to be super big. Just big enough. And it's going to feature glass lots of things, I'm thinking. So. Yep. And also getting rid of this on this will mean that less spiders will just pop through the ceiling. So it's kind of like I win every way I can think of it. So yeah, like that's that's the plan actually. We're gonna just cut out some of this rock. It doesn't have to be super big. Like I said, basically I need to be able to see. I would like some command chairs, access to the cargo containers, and probably some cameras throughout the base. And I think that's probably about it. Like. It's not going to be anything fancy, but it's going to have a nice purpose. And I like to think as if other people were joining me here at my lonely alien world planet. Like, what would I want to make this, this functional? So, let's carve through some of this rock real quick. How are we doing? Oh, apparently I just hit something again. I keep doing that. One day I will get better at flying, but that day is not this day. Today I'm going to crash into everything and probably break stuff off of the ship again because that's always fun when that happens. And let's see. With this hovering here I have 29 minutes of fuel. Hmm. That might just be because of the battery in use. Like I have reactors as well and I think those alone can power this. So, let's see. Okay, so I've got access to above my room now, and I think that's about where I want to start. So let's flip this around. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to dock it into the wall right here as kind of like an emergency I can get around thing. Also, I should probably put a remote control on this too in case I, well, I have run out of hydrogen a few times. And if I do that at the wrong time, I'm gonna just be stuck. 
So actually, let's just power this down completely. No need to have it using any power if it doesn't need to be. And we'll go back up here. And let's see, get out our hand drill. And make some holes. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that I'll go up from here. Let's see, do I have? Yeah, I do. And then we'll rotate to the slope. Is the slope, I think it is too steep. So let's actually switch this real quick and get the light slope. Oh, geez, that's not how I actually wanted to do that. We'll clear this out, clear that out, that, and then that. There we go. So we'll go three, and there we go. That should do it. Like just having it gently slope up into it, like something you'd actually want to walk. And then three and rotate. Sure, we'll embed it in that wall right there. That's fine. Why did it flip around suddenly? And say that it can't connect like that. That's weird. Okay, well, we're gonna have to use some hydrogen. Oh, I bet the ship's in the way there. Ah. You know? No, it's not in the way. Like, what's going on? That's that's so weird. Should probably grab out my grinder for this. Like ever once in a while it just decides that it doesn't want to work. And that's that's fine. I just wish it was a little consistent on how it did it. And then it shouldn't fit there, that's fine. And then we're just burning some useless hydrogen right now. And put one there. And then we can't put it there, that's fine. But yeah, so I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll do a layer of these normal blocks. And again, we're gonna have to fly to do that. Oh, this, oh no, that's that should be fine. Because we don't actually need ceiling access to the top of that, as long as it can be sealed. So we'll do a row of that, and then I'm thinking all blocks. What? Glass. I'm looking for glass. Here we go. So all the different ones, does that mean that size? We're going to use the one by ones, I think, just because they're a little bit easier to work with. And how I want to do this is I want to make sure that these are placed from the bottom. Oh, right, because I need girders. So we'll use our assembler over here. I've got to get a system set up to build all this stuff in the base. I do have girders. Awesome. Let's drop off some motors and some steel plates for all the girders. And I should probably refresh my oxygen and hydrogen supplies too. Hydrogen and oxygen, there we go. Okay. Eventually there will be stairs leading up to this, it's just not right now. So we'll go like this. And then that will let me build stuff on top of here if I want to. But it should still let it be airtight. Oh, no, that is that is exactly the way I want it. So, go like that. Oh, not like that. So this will let us see straight down, and then we'll do an angled thing across, and we'll build some more metal around the sides, too. Can I slope this a little bit more nicely, I wonder? This is one of the pains of recording somewhere else is I don't actually have control over things like this. So apologies if you can hear that. And let's see. Let's turn this on. 
and detach it real quick. Oh boy. Wow. I don't think I actually need this up there, so let's power this down. Get out. Fly into our little pit of doom there. and fix the damage that we apparently caused. Okay. And then I really gotta remap where these are again, because I like the way I have it set up on my computer. But of course I can't always choose how it's set up somewhere else. So I'm thinking actually what if I did the armored slopes and did that and then I'm not sure it will let that connect or not. No it won't. That is one of the issues there but given it connects on the wall I think it will be fine. I think I'll make this three across for now. That should be enough and yet not overly huge. And then I'm gonna angle these corners in somehow. So let's see. I'll just do a normal block there. Oh, that's not a normal block though. And okay, normal block there and there. Yeah, this is just going to be like a ceiling pillar, I think. And Let's go over page four. What do I have that I can scroll through? Just flat and inverted, okay. They're called windows actually, not glass. That's why I couldn't find them earlier. Flat, inverted. I want the slope. So we'll grab this one and the slope just for fun. Five, flat, inverted. I really feel like they need to have the slopes or something. So slope. I think that will work. And then do the same thing over here. So it's just a little command deck area that can see the entrance, see kind of the rest of the base. And I'll grab that corner in a little bit. Okay, so I think that's my rough plan. I mean, like I said, I have to fill up this corner still, and then I'll build the roof around this and an easier access method. So for now, my access method is gonna be here. So what we need is we need a lot more girders, a lot more bulletproof glass. So let's get the assembler producing that while we're working out some of the other details. So production, girders, we'll start with that, and then I'll take a look at what I should actually need. Bulletproof glass, we'll get a few hundred of that going. Ah, actually, let's try for a full thousand. I should have a bunch of silicon. Yeah, 6.2k, and I'm going to use 5,000 of that, so quite a bit. I think I'm still going to need more girders than that, too, so we'll get... And then what do I have on inventory? Display is bulletproof glass, okay. Let's try this and make sure all my glass is facing the same way. So 
I can see down, which is good. And then, is the dark side in or out? I think it's in, so that's good too. Awesome. And I need more girders. And I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have taken any falling damage from that. I just feel weird falling that distance. The, the girders first again. Actually, I don't guess... Oh, I should use those before I drop them all off. But I'll get rid of some of them. Okay. And build this all up. Guess I gotta go inside to build that last piece. Or those last several pieces. Ugh, squeeze. Sometimes these hitboxes are really actually hard to hit, which is rather annoying. Okay, and then that one's going to be changed as well. So we'll go up here. I think you can start to see the general idea of this. Like, I've got to do more with flushing out the ceiling and make sure that that is correct and that it's actually usable. Oh, oh yeah, that right. I mean, on the inside, this is how I want it to be. Okay, good. But that's the general idea. Is I'll have a full view of the base from this room, and then hopefully this can be spider-proofed with the blocks above this. You know what, for now, let's just... And that's, that's a decent way to get in and out here. And then I think, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of all traces of the wall to make this hold oxygen as well, which has always been interesting to me because I feel like that right there should be airtight. I mean, this certainly isn't, but that right there is airtight, so. Strange how it works sometimes. wall this up for a little bit and then okay so and then we're gonna want some sort of a command seat I think I'm gonna put the smaller one oh and no, I don't have any interior plates on me but that would fit on one of these right here if I put a command seat like here and here and then I'll place cameras throughout the base. Let's see. So we need interior plates for that, and then we need cameras. And that's steel plates, computers, and more steel plates. Okay, that's easy. Inventory. Let's grab 100 steel plates, all of our computers. Oh, good, we have some more. Sorry, I want to organize these things a little bit. I wish there was like a collapse button so I could say, you know, just put everything alike together. 
or a way to, to, to sort things. I know mods can do a lot of those things, but it just would be nice to do that in the base game. So we're going to put a camera right there. And it's got to be facing right. So there we go. And we'll put one right here as well. And we'll do the same on the other side. Fly out of its hitbox. There. I'm not sure this one's really going to have a view of anything. And then I'm thinking we'll do one in the hangar. And I just got injured from I'm not entirely sure what. I probably flew into something though. So let's weld these up. Yeah. That's strange to me. And then that way we'll be able to see what's outside the base without actually going outside. Oh look, a spider. Let's see if I can take that out. Because I think I can actually now control my turrets. Turret 2. Yes, I can. Control. I just can't see over there. Of course. Oh. So wait, if I took control of Gatling 4, could that one do it? I'm going to guess no, given it's not. Oh, Gatling 3, I guess. I need to name these so I know which they are. Gatling 3. Control. It's out of ammunition. Are you kidding me? Oh, the conveyor system doesn't run across. Shoots. So we'll get out of this, I guess. And hop out of here. Luckily, I mean, there's the me solution, which is just I go out and kill it. So we'll take care of this real quick. And then I gotta get that inventory system set up so I don't have to deal with problems like this of only one gun can shoot them because this was not designed to work like that, and it will be actually far more useful if it works as intended. So, we'll, we'll get that system online. But I think that's gonna have to be our next episode, so I'm Antalus, I'll catch you later.